Hey, what's up, everybody? So it started again. It like cleared out for a little bit, and then it started again. But it just it hasn't been sticking. It's like in the mid 40s right now. Um, but look at these huge sleep pellets coming down. Thought we'd check this out in slow motion. Uh, hang on a second. Let me let me figure this out. stuff and we could see like a snowbow a snowbow uh yeah so <laughs> you know like a rainbow but with snow kind of thing because yeah look at all this so keep your eyes peeled i'm not gonna be able to hear me if you say hey i see one so i'm gonna have to try to keep my eyes peeled too but i really don't want to injure anybody else so i'm gonna have to really focus on the road but i guarantee you there's got to be a snowbow around here man Yeah, it's March 23rd, 2021. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I think Stipe is going to hold off and Gondo again. I don't know what you guys think, but I think that's going to be a great fight. That's unfortunate um, that Volkanovski got, uh, got set back, man. That sucks. But it should be, uh, it should be Max Blessed fighting anyway he won that fight I thought, look at how big some of these freaking sleep pellets are oh my gosh look at that humongous so that direction is probably where the rainbow would be right guys if there is going to be one or the snowbow because look the sun's about to peek through right there so uh, something's gonna happen it's gonna be pretty cool I think I've, I caught one snowbow before up here. Whoa. The sun really popped through right there, like blinded me for a second. Um, yeah, wow, this is crazy cool. I'd rather it be snow, but this is really cool. out there. You know what, we're just going to go all the way out that way. Check out the big bear snow or sleet rule.
propellers are so large. We're gonna do another little slow mo real quick. Hang on. All right, let's see. This is awesome. All right, back to regular video. Here's Big Bear Snowplay. Like, guys, I'm not sure how long they stay open, but I've seen a bunch of people here this past few days. So that's where you can take your kids, come have some fun. You don't have to worry about cars, anything like that, hitting your kids and stuff like that. Uh, it's just safe. Um, I think they have like a different, a couple different grades of, of, uh, of steepness slope up there so uh you'll be good uh the kids don't want to charge they don't have to go down like the super steep thing so but i think you guys would have fun and look see the further we go out here it's slowing down quite a bit and this damn thing man I'm trying to figure out where that rattle is man Cause that's a new one. I fixed the other one, I swear. I, I really did. Oh, it's a stupid soda sitting on top of the, the, uh, the coins. Wow, look up there. Wait, on the top of that hill. Oh, I missed it, damn it. Sorry guys. It just looked cool because you couldn't really see the, the, like, the top too well because just the top was getting a little bit of a sleep. Or maybe at that elevation they were getting a little snow, but... Man, people are in a hurry today. Good old Big Bear City. Yeah, look at that. That's so, that's so pretty over there. Look at the snow falling in that canyon. That's so awesome. Oh yeah. What a beautiful place.
and then the perspective of going into the, the sleet might be pretty cool so I'll see how it looks you know we might take North Shore because over there you saw that stuff uh, coming down so we might just go through North Shore drive through North Shore <coughs> and then we might stop and surf a little bit you know brah we got the white man over there it's not that North Shore I wish it was. <laughs> I wish it was. That'd be nice right now. Well, not me surfing at the North Shore, but just being in Hawaii. That would be, that'd be nice. That would be nice. Yeah, look at this, guys. Coming down a little bit over here, too. I like seeing that because you, you guys know from like these 3,000 videos over like five and a half years of doing this up here for weather, um, pretty much like 2,999 of them. Like it's just it's just clear over here on this side of town. So this is cool. I'm enjoying it. Anyway, we're gonna turn around up here in Baldwin, and then we're gonna head into the North Shore and go that way. When I moved up here, you guys, this street where this Jeep is, I was gonna move onto this street right here. And the re only reason why is because it says Barranca Boulevard. And from growing up in Orange County, there's Barranca Parkway and Irvine right there. And it's just such a part of my past that it made me feel comfortable. <laughs> so what, what a stupid thing, but you know, to each their own, right? Whatever makes you feel good. I used to be embarrassed about stupid things like that. But look at all the sleet coming down, it's just crazy. This is crazy. Looks accumulating a little bit on that roof. No one's there though. Oh, hang on. Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> I thought I was recording. My bad. But anyway, yeah, as ridiculously tired as I am right now, you guys, like you have no idea. So tired, feel a little better, but this is a passion, man. I mean, Seriously, 99 out of 100 people with the way I feel right now would not be doing this. <laughs> I'm not at a point where I feel like I'd be injuring other people on the road, so don't get that idea. It's not a passion to the point of where I'm like extraordinarily selfish about it. Fortunately, I've been good. I've been able to maintain this whole time. But I think that's because I have the that drive that stems from passion. And that's pretty cool. It took me many years of my life to, uh, to really find myself like that and find certain things like that. And uh, I was thinking about it, about passion and success in life. And uh, I realized that it's days like this when you push yourself, no matter what you're doing, whether you get paid, whether you just whatever makes you happy, but it's days like this. And I do this a lot where it's, it's tough, and when you don't have to, most people won't. <laughs> like, uh, you know, when you're going to the gym all the time, and you're like, ah, you know what, I don't need to go today. I'm good. That's when you need to really get in the gym. Um, you know? So, everybody that I've ever seen on TV, or anybody that I've known, who have always gotten up and went and done what they do, no matter how hard it was, it's, uh, they've always been successful, every single one of them. Every single time, too. Well, I guess that would mean every single one of them every single time, so it's the same thing. I told you guys I'm tired. All right, very tired. Um, but yeah, I guess the whole point is just, you know, no matter what, man, follow what you love to do. And, uh, when it's the hardest to do it, I promise you, like, uh, like, like your worst day following your passion is probably better than most people's best days doing what they're just doing. So, you know, when you think 
about it, it doesn't get much better than that. And some people's passions are kind of weird, <laughs> like uh, like this one. But it is what it is, man. It makes me happy. It takes away some depression, stuff like that. So that's why I do it. Well, obviously you guys too. I mean, come on now. Yeah, so. <laughs> I'm hoping when we drive this way and then go across Stanfield Cutoff, we'll see... Uh, some snow bows over that way. <laughs> All right. So it's uh, the temperature dropped significantly. That's the cool thing about up here is it kind of reminds me of the front range when I lived in Denver for two years or about 20 months um, at boarding school. <laughs> what a good kid. Uh, <laughs> uh, seriously, like, I'll never forget one January day. It was like 74 degrees. And we were driving by Sport Bowl, which is where I used to love to go and shoot pool and hustle pool. At 14 and 15 years old, I, I was hustling people, believe it or not, at a boarding school place. But I was living with a host family, so I didn't live at the school. So I was like an exchange student. But uh, um, yeah, it was like 73, 74 degrees on one of the signs next to Sport Bowl. And keep your eyes peeled for snow bows. Um, oh man, look how awesome it looks over there. And then literally like by two in the morning, it was freezing and it was blizzard conditions. And the next day, the high temperature was like, like eight degrees or nine degrees or something. It, it was like one of the biggest, biggest changes, like uh, from one daytime high to the next. And that's the cool thing about the front range, you guys, is that <laughs> you get that cold Arctic air that comes down from Canada and cold air sinks, right? So it just sits down in that front range. Lots of nights, guys, we'd be colder in Denver than they'd be up in the Rockies. I mean, not not lots of nights, but a few nights because of those those Arctic air blasts, we'd get hit with them hardest down there, which was crazy. But that's what it that's what it kind of that's what happens up here. Not as drastic, but it's pretty significant. Like, uh, especially days when we have storms coming in, like the forecast. We'll say like, yeah, it's going to be a high of 50 degrees. And then the temperature is going to fall by early afternoon down to 34 degrees with snow showers developing and stuff. Like, it's just super cool how fast it just drops up here. You got to be on your guard. You really do. As I always tell you, that's where I want to live. That's my favorite place. If anyone wants to invest in there, I'm telling you right now, man, let's do it. Let's do it. Oh gosh, that place is awesome. It's on a street called Bear Loop, or maybe that's the neighborhood also, but it's uh, the street's called Bear Bear Loop. <coughs> and there's a few streets in there, but it's right on that little that area that I refer to as the Prairie. Turning left on Stanfield cut off from North Shore. This takes you back over to the to the resort side of town. And this is the end of the lake also. And the first road that takes you across. Look at the Baldwin side, just how clear it is right now. And we just drove through a bunch of sleet that way and now it's just totally gone. And 
this is. Oh, that's beautiful. this corner usually it's just a big open beautiful view like it is right now of snow summit and one of my favorite views in the whole town besides that prairie view it's when you come around this corner especially when you're not expecting it it gets people really excited it's like ah we're here we made it <coughs> I remember that feeling driving up highway 38 I'd be so excited but I wouldn't be able to really know where I'm at uh, Obviously there's signs and stuff, but when you're driving up here, it's just, you're just, your eyes are scouring everywhere. And right when you come around that corner and see that, right here, and that's just so incredible. I wish we had Mammoth Lakes type snow, but you know, it is what it is. I need to be grateful for what we have. But I can still want more. All right. So anyway, you guys, hope you guys are having a good day. And uh, yeah, that's what we got going on here in Big Bear. You guys stay safe out there. Thanks again for everything. Peace out. Stay up. Hey, you know what? We're just going to finish this off real quick by taking a quick little ride up to Summit just to see what's going on at Snow Summit. Obviously, they're closed right now. It's 5 o'clock. Well, not obviously. I'm sure everyone of you didn't know. But now you know. And knowing is half the battle. All right. Uh, G.I. Joe was there. All right. Oh, they really narrowed this thing. Jeez. You're driving a little drunk. You know, you're going to hit all these cones. I mean, what are they doing? I mean, they're not accommodating to the drunk drivers. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I am so joking. From a guy who's almost eight years off of alcohol. June 23rd, man. I cannot believe it. Like, that's like the craziest thing ever. I don't know why I'm not pointing this damn thing over here. It's the whole reason we came over here. I get so, so caught up over here, man. So caught up with all you guys. Look at that, it's so pretty. This is such a beautiful resort. I know we're not getting to see much of it, but wouldn't it be cool to live here? I know traffic would be an absolute nightmare sometimes, but sometimes you gotta take some good with some bad, right? Can't always be the pitcher, you gotta be catcher too. <laughs> oh man. So, so let's see here. Yeah. It's just really beautiful today, guys. It's these nice fluffy clouds up here. This neighborhood back here, a, I've, I, I've been back there before. We'll have to go back there sometime. This is a, a camp. That's a camp over there. It's called uh, Pine Summit, I believe. It's a very big camp. You guys should check it out. I can't remember, but it was in sixth grade when I was going to Lincoln Elementary School in Newport Beach. Um, convinced my mom to take me out of private school. And then things started going downhill from there. But I think they would have gone downhill from there anyway. But because, uh, you know, they were my choices. It didn't matter where I was going to school. Uh, but in sixth grade, they they brought us up here for a week, a one week trip. And I think like all sixth graders in Southern California come up for like some, some astronomy uh, type thing. And I can't remember where, I think it was off of Highway 38, but I, I have no clue. But I, I've, I've been trying to find out 
exactly where it is because I'd like to go back and just visit. Because that was such a good time. That was such a good time. Anyway, all right, guys. That's where Triple G used to train. Yeah. And a bunch of other big time boxers. Used to see them running down the street all the time. Anyway, you guys take care. It's uh, March 23rd, 2021, up here in Big Bear. And yeah, we're just getting, uh, getting the last bit of this precipitation. You guys have a good rest of your day. Peace out.